I've just had a delivery. So here's an insight to the style of my van. Oh God, don't drop a Monday. So there's one and they're all different. So, Nobby! It's time. Well, after all the other bits I'm doing, it is time. We are getting the ceiling. So we're going to get the ceiling. Um, what did they call it? I called it something before. Um, we're going to offer it up. We're going to offer the ceiling up. So we're not fitting it. We're going to put it in its place so then we can mark out the bit, bits I need to cut. So we've got the props in there ready and we are going to go and grab a side and then mark it up and then do the same with the other side. Go on then. Right, so this is temporarily up with a couple of screws. Woo, look at how fizzy my hair looks with that light on, I tell you. So we have gone and we have done a check round the um, Max fan light and I've used the insert, let me show you. This is the bit that connects the fan when it's in the ceiling from the top to the light that comes up from the bottom and makes it nice and tidy so you don't see any of the insulation or anything. So you cut that to size. So, but it's a great template to see what kind of hole I need to have. And I think I've got about 15 mil leeway on that um, to make sure that the, um, the wood is cut okay. And then over this way, um, we're obviously cutting out for the skylight. Uh, for the skylight, I have traced around the inside and we know that from that, um, I've marked on the outside where it needs to be. Got the same about 15, 20 mil leeway for the gap I can leave around there, but I'm hopefully going to get it reasonably right first time. Five or six mil, I think we need to add to what I've traced around the inside. And that should be nice and straightforward. So cut them out, uh, carpet them, or cut them out. Just come and have a little bit of a push fit to make sure they fit into place. And then I'll get carpeting them. So it's going to be too dark, I hear you say. John's already said it. Um, they won't. There'll be fairy lights everywhere. So it's going to be snuggly and magical. And a really nice, easy place to sleep in. And just all the comfort that I need. And then light when I need it. So I've got a couple of really nice black spotlights that... Um, colour change so I can change the light to a different colour when it's bedtime so it doesn't ruin my eyes just general things like that so it's coming along got big stacks of stuff everywhere it's bad enough when it was just stuff for John's van so now we're two vans um, but yeah now I'm done I am done in so I've just got myself a nice glass of fake Pepsi Max Cherry Tesco's own brand stuff and I'm going to go and see how I can get this first um, insulation video ready. Um, see if I can get that uh, edited. I've probably got an hour or so of that. And then I've got another hour of work. And then I can go to bed. So I'll probably see you again tonight. See you in the morning. And in the true, I see a little silhouette of a man. In the true ADHD style van building. I'm doing something different. So, I have got plastic coat, similar to Plasti Dip, but we found this in, in some old stuff and it's not the favourite, it's got a bit of a sheen to it. So John doesn't like it for all the bits that you're gonna see. However, if you can see here, bottom of my doors are all a bit bashed. So a lot of it is gonna be covered because these, the door things come down to here, but still I don't want it going rusty. So. I've given everything a little bit of a going over and uh, I am just going to go around with this and make it look all nice and smart so it's not all bashed up around the outside. John has said, here's all, I've been given all the stuff, pre-taped dust sheets and things. You know what Mandy's doing? Mandy, she used a piece of cardboard so I can go. No one's going to buy this off me, are they? <laughs> See how this gets on.
But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess the ignorance is bliss Take me back to before the noon Good morning. Well, I've been left unsupervised for today. What trouble can we cause? Oh, well, should really be none because, you know, I have lots to do um, in here. Um, but normal work routine is the thing. I think it's just gone eight o'clock. John's gone off to get some help and things um, with building cabinets and stuff with um, our friend AD. And yeah, it's just me and Swee for the day. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned anything yet about um, about his name. So I was I just asked my grandson. I thought, you know, I can't decide. Nothing was jumping out at me. So why not let a nearly six-year-old decide for me? My daughter recorded it on a video for me, which I can't put on because it's got his face on and it's in their house and stuff. So he said a four-word name. He's really into Star Wars at the minute. So he says, he just goes, Star Wars 8080. And I'm like, okay, uh, Star Wars 8080. I said, whatever, you know. And then I'm thinking, it needs to be a bit shorter, so let's have a look at an acronym, which is SWE. And SWE in, I think it's, sing, did they say Singlish? Singaporean English, according to Google. It means sweet, impressive, awesome, good, all those things. And you know what? I think it fits it perfectly. So this is my van, SWE. It's better than the second name, Stupid Bum Bum. It's an accounts, then... Carpeting the last back door panel, cutting out some holes in the roof um, that we described yesterday, and then carpeting those as well. So it is a spray glue, sticky fingered Mandy day. And now you get to see a little bit of what it takes to make Mandy's brain work properly. Not only did it take a while to figure out that I had to turn both the handles the same way on the Ryobi workbench, but also trying to get the wood in and trying to get it the right way around and pinned down wasn't quite as straightforward as I thought it was going to be. Um, I got there in the end though, as you can see. So yes, happy soaring. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my So, this is the hole I'm cutting out for the skylight. That is the inside of the skylight. However, these screw holes here have to be given enough room because you can't screw through them. They just need to screw into each other, so I don't need the board in the middle. Um, I've just marked out a centimetre over each one of those, and then I will cut around the outer edge. That worked well on the previous one which is there. Um, so yeah, so hopefully I'll just leave enough room for the screws and um, we'll fit nicely. <sighs> oh, it's hard doing this on your own, you know. So first ceiling panel is up. You can get the thing around it. It's a little snug that side, but it still fits. And that to me looks pretty good. Um, so as long as that fits on, then that's the tube that the other bit fits on. 
I've got the extra bit of support just there. I can't point because I've got a torch in my hand. <laughs> and then down here, we've got the skylight. And I reckon that the measurements, they're pretty damn spot on. Yeah. Very happy with that. Um, I've managed to get one screw in there because that's the making sure that the panel is in the right place screw. So uh, yeah, I'm going to leave that like that. I am happy with how that has come out. Um, I'm going to carpet it. Uh, so I probably will nibble a little bit off the edge of the, um, the turret round there. Uh, just to make room for the carpet otherwise that tube's not going to go on with the carpet uh, but i think everything else is fine because it stretches really nice around all the corners so uh so yeah mandy using power tools unsupervised eh who'd have thunk it oh just eating a full pack of uh, those um itsu veggie gyozas i don't know how you're supposed to say it no, no doubt someone will correct me um and uh, I mean, there's 20 in a pack and they're only small. So so now I'm on to carpeting. I've got all the bits cut out. So I'm going to carpet on the floor here in the thing because I didn't want to start the van up to move it backwards. And also I need to get to the back doors for one of the panels. So I didn't want to do it. So I couldn't get in there either. So I'm just going to struggle and do it in a small space. Time lapse central. Here we come. Vans is hard and I've had it easy I do believe um but today you see over my head oh, it is an almost hence you see the support there an almost fitted ceiling um however the back looks a little bit different not only do we have back doors lovely finished in black but Skylight fitted with the blinds. Oops, what are you doing, Monday? Look at that. All nicely fitted. Yeah, so don't worry about these because I've got the little caps for these. John had loads left over from when he was fitting his Solway panels, and it's just a tiny bit off this wheat colour of my uh, of my ceiling so I can go and clip and push the, sh the uh, screw caps on so it'll look better I didn't want to do it any other way I know people are going to say oh you should have screwed it up and carpeted over it I didn't want to so I'm going to put some caps on um, and uh, and it's going to look good down this end we can see it needs titivating so yes we have my tiny tiny max van um this is the gap that was gaping when we bought the van i've not fixed the roof however i have put a batten in there so we can actually put some more screws in and screw that up nicely out of the way got my hole for my tiny tiny max van um this goes over to make it look tidy so you can't you won't be able to see all of this insulation on the inside and then 
that'll go over the top like that and that's a light so I will have some sort of light at the front of the van with the fan on oh yeah it's getting there floor next well once I've screwed in the back I've not done that yet and screwed in the front and then I'm going to carpet in there too to make that a bit lighter that'll involve lots of swearing no doubt see so when you get carried away I do all the time proper good productive day John comes in and goes that looks amazing it's really good really nice finish get a big hug I did it all myself I didn't ask him any questions through the day or anything and then he says just one thing and I'm like are you Beep, beep. Honestly, I can't record anything. Beep, beep. Fuck off. So, yeah, John says just one thing. We've not finished the roof. The solar gland isn't in. Uh, the puck aerial antenna lead is not in. Um, the Obviously, solar panels don't have to worry too much about the actual fixing of them because they're just going to go from the top. But yeah, so the cables haven't been brought in from the roof. So I've taken it down again. It just makes you an expert, you know, for what you, for what you want to do. So I've taken that down. I have also taken off this box because the little bits of reinforcing I did were good um, and would have been okay, apart from the fact that we noticed that the actual box isn't screwed to the wall at all, apart from one tiny little metal thing with a, a grub screw that goes in the back. There's nothing else that's holding it on the wall. And if I'm going to put a battery on there, then I need to make sure it is absolutely safe and secure. So I've taken the box out. We're going to replace a couple of the cross timbers in it to make sure it's okay. Use the pocket drill on them so we can then drill into the wood at the side of the van. Um, and drill into, you know, you get that little lip that goes all the way around your wheel arch, that metal lip that doesn't really attach to anything. So we're going to put some screws in there as well from the cross bits just to make sure that that's all nice and safe and secure. So, this is the puck antenna. And this is where it's going to be installed. I have a drill bit. I have a drill. I have some stuff to clean the surface with before I do anything or when I've done it. Probably when I've done it, that makes more sense, doesn't it? And then that will be that bit done. Um, I think I need to make the hole bigger. Yeah. Do I need to make the hole bigger, sir? Yeah, so we've got a step drill for that hmm? and then some sicker flex. So, yeah, step drill and sicker flex. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Right, so I use the drill bit there and then I use the step drill to just make it a little bit bigger. And this is why this is, I've just tried. So this nut here or that bit there has to fit through the hole and it's a lovely snug fit. So I got to pulling it all back out again so we can take this nut off and seal it all properly. And then I figured I should film it for you. So. That is nice and simple, just haul. Hello. People. People. I like to be educated. Right, so now the puck's in. I've drilled the hole and used the step drill on that as well to make it big enough to get these cables. These are the, because Mandy changes her mind all the time, John thought it'd be good to put extra cables in. And this is for my solar panel, which will go there. I think we've got one that literally takes up all but a centimetre of the space there. Two solar panels. I've got two solar panels, apparently. <laughs> two 175s. Two 175s, which are going across the van. Yeah. yeah? Uh, so they're going that way across the van. So I've got two 175s that will fit within like a centimetre on here. And uh, and yeah, and this is the cable for those. So I'll get that on. I'm going to just giving it a clean. So I'm passing the cables through. I'm going to sicker flex the and then make sure that hell or high water cannot get in there. Right. I keep saying to John, it's like an alien has vomited sicker flex all over everything I do. 
Not the neatest. However, I don't think any water is getting through there. So as usual, I'm just going to let my young assistant come up and do a QC check. Young assistant? Yeah. Well, thank you. Oh, I didn't mean you. Oh. <laughs> it's so a bunny. Yeah, that'll do. Can we have a more positive tone of voice instead of yep? Well, as you said, it's it's been vomited around. Mm. So, so it, it should be sealed. That's brilliant. But yeah, that'll do is the vomit approach. Right. Cool. <laughs> that'll do. No one's going to see it. It's no, fine. It'll be fine. Won't leak. I think after all that, we're going to call it a day. It's been very, very busy putting things up, taking it back down again, putting things back up again. So, uh, yeah, lots and lots of progress made. All the little things help and it all gives a better understanding for what the bigger picture is going to be in the long run. So thank you so much for coming along. I appreciate every one of your views. If you've not already subscribed, please hit that button. It really, really helps growing channels. It helps all channels, really. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again on the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.